the sorrow your ass up because before I start, the Lord showed me someone is going to watch. You are having a, a, a pain in your hip. hip. You are having a hip pain. We will do that pain right now in the name of Jesus. You are a woman. You are having a hip pain. You are a hip, yes. Kasu, Lepo, Doko, Sula, Kamananza, Iketila. We will do that pain right now. We call forth heaven and earth to come and heal you right now in the name of Jesus. We declare your body healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. In Jesus' name, Father, we just thank you. We bless your name. We give you praise. Hallelujah, be your name. Thank you, Lord, because we are God. You are not a man. You can't lie. Your word is here and amen. Let's be God for another day in your presence. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Today is going to be very hot. If you are, if you just uh, hook on now, please stay to the end. And today is going to be very hot. In fact, I am, I am, I am taking on this topic where, where I dwell. That's my faculty where I dwell. Everybody have their strength. You can wake me up and I can teach on this. Hallelujah. I can teach on this. So I'm going to really uh, uh, break up. Some, some barrier that is holding you between you and your breakthrough. I'm going to break it up today through prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, uh, this month, I will declare the month of our fruitfulness. I will be teaching on that. But at times, people just hear the teaching and they don't know how that there's a barrier blocking them of not being fruitful. And that's what we're going to look at today. Most times when people promise you something and they don't give it to you, probably it's not their fault. The place of Pesach will be there holding them down that don't give them. And they don't understand why they're denying you, but they say, come tomorrow, come tomorrow, come tomorrow. That is why you can see somebody who is your uncle and you know he maybe is in a high position in the company or in the, in, a, in, a, in the government of your nations, but here they can't help you. Why? There are something holding them down. There are something. So they're going to place in demand. That the Lord Himself will arise and begin to fight our battle for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm preaching the message title to come on, uh, the title to come on, men ought always to pray. Now this is the parable of Jesus. Men ought always to pray. As a matter of fact, without prayer, you can't achieve anything. Because you will think you are moving, the laughter sometimes it drops. You move in, it drops, you try to reach the threshold, it drops back again. But prayer can make you hit above that. Now, look, gospel, that's our test. Look, gospel, chapter 18, verse 1. It says, And he speak a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray. Now, when the Bible says men, is, it does not uh, uh, seclude uh, the woman. It's, it's when it says men, means men and female. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. I said, what Jesus was saying that you don't have to faint when you go to prayers. Prayer is something that you 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 generate from inside. Prayer is something that 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 you, you cannot rest. If, if you're a man or the woman of prayer, when you pick come to a place of prayer, you become restless. You become restless. When I give my life to Jesus. In the early stage, I was in the campus. At times, uh, during our, our, our uh, maybe one or two, two hours break, I would go to to, uh, to the uh, secluded place in the desert and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Prayers. Prayers makes you a wonders unto many. Uh, prayers make your enemy to begin to run away from you. Men ought only to pray and not to faint. Not men should sleep, no men should gossip. A lot of Christian gossip, but they don't pray. A lot of Christian complain, but they don't pray. A lot of uh, Christian can see someone who offended them, but they cannot pray. A lot of Christian can chase shadow, but they cannot pray. Can I shock you? A lot of Christian can spend, spend about four hours on their phone, resorting, Facebooking, and all that. Yeah, they can pray. Men ought always to pray. I'm not a fact. Today you you must pray. See, prayer is taught not you don't learn it. I'm going to teach you how to pray. In verse two, saying there was a city, a judge, who feared not God nor regarded man. What kind of a judge is this? And there was another widow. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. If there's a wicked judge, there will be another another man or woman who will counter the judge. 
if the story ended that there wicked judge in the city who fear no government man, who can say, Oh God, who will confront this man? Look at what Jesus said. <laughs> now that get it, my verse 3, and there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him saying, Avenge me, my adversary. That is prayer. She came unto him. Every day she will keep coming. He will come and say, King, you must give me that that belongs to me. You must, you must answer me. There is no how you could keep hitting on the object one day to give up. One day to give up. One day it will give up. You see, you can use, you can use a knife, for example, to cut down an orange tree if you are consistent. Or what you need to do, just when you wake up in the morning, go and chop something out of it. Yeah, when, when you, in the afternoon, chop something out of it with a knife. Before you do it, I tell you, it will not belong. That orange will fall. But when you look at the orange tree, you say, oh, how can a small knife cut it off? No, it's, you don't need a saw. It will cut off. Just give it a mark. 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 One day, it will collapse. And he will not the saw, and he will not for a while. But after war, he said with him, said, Though I fear my God, nor regard it now, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest her continue coming, she worry me. Lest her continue coming, she worry me. When you pray with him, don't mind this religious people who say, when you pray once, if God will not answer me, God will not answer No, it's a lie. I have people say, when you pray on a particular uh, uh, prayer upon once, and God will not answer, that's beyond the will of God. That's a lie from the pit of hell. I've said, go hold on to God for three years, four years, for praying for the fruit of the womb, and God answer them, and God give them the fruit of the womb. You can't tell me after you pray for one day, the living God for the fruit of the womb, and nothing happen, then... It's not the will of God for you to have baby. That's a lie from Peter. Peter. If not, Anna could have not gotten a Samuel. It is not the first day that Anna came to Shiloh to pray that God had Anna. But Anna keep coming continually, 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 until one day he break forth to the heavens. And God answered her prayers. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. So we must have to place a demand on that that belongs to us. You see, no one know that the Mogila belongs to us, but we keep quiet. You need to place a demand. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I was, uh, in a, I think I was watching uh, something recently. Um, um, there was this, this, this uh, a fowl with a dog. They were, they were fighting. They were fighting. They were fighting. So the point he really the dog, the dog ran away. The, the, the chickens uh, started running, look at chickens started running after the dog. The dog was running. Now for strength, the dog has strength, but the, the chicken will not give up. The local chicken will not give up. It keep hitting the dog, hitting the dog, chopping the dog. It's become a disease, it become annoyed to the dog. The dog says, no, please let me leave you alone. That is what prayer does. To the point that that devil, you really the devil. To the point that the devil cannot hold, when devil sees it's coming again, I better not hold it. Any devil holding on to that that belongs to you, I speak to you right now, they will be released. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are released now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Man, always to pray. I'm not a fan. When Jesus gave them the parables, the, the disciples were just looking at him. What is he driving at? What is he trying to say? Look at verse 6. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said, and shall not God, this is where it's going to now, now it's getting better now, and shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night, unto him, though he be along with them, though the pain may still be there, you pray for healing today and you look as if you are not here today. The pain may be there. You pray for marriage and look as if things are happening. The pain may be there. 
You pay for breakthrough and look and see the breakthrough and mark on the pain will be there. You pay for God to give you money to pay your rent. And now look at month and month is another month is coming again. The pain be there. The pain must be there. You should not stop you from praying. Those who close their mouth early for not praying, they try to tempt to shut their destiny down. But you will not shut your destiny down. In the mighty name of Jesus, you need to declare with your mouth. So, he be along with them. Ay, 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 that it will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith in the surface of the earth. We have no excuse that things will not happen good in our life. You need to pray. Men always to pray is a parable of Jesus that call us to pray. It's a call to prayers. It's a call to prayers. Now hear this, prayer breaks every barrier uh, 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 before our breakthrough. Every barrier to our breakthrough, prayer breaks it. It's more prayers moves a year again. Prayer moves the hands of God to act here on it. Prayers move the hand of God to act here on it. God cannot do anything until we invite his presence to come. You will say, but God knows I need to be for you to pray. Though he be along with them. Don't allow the devil if you say you don't need to pray again because uh, uh, God knows. He knows. Let me, let me explain to you. If you go to the hospital, maybe there are about three to ten people that went to the hospital. And in their world, the emergency were waiting for the doctor to come and, and, and check them. When the doctor stepped into the, into the, uh, the, the emergency hall, the one that's screaming the more, I believe the doctor he, he will get attention to the doctor. The doctor attend to that face. But the one that is that is being pretend as if he's uh, you know, pain, the doctor will say okay, he can be it for, for some time. So prayer move the hand of God to act here on it. Now here is again, prayer is an invisible weapon that can break physical bridge between us and our breakthroughs. Prayer is an invisible, you can't see it, it's a war. He trouble. Yes, yeah, do you know that war does not die? World, world, W-O-R-D, it hangs in the atmosphere until it's, it, 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 that he was saying it will perform. The Bible says, but it says, my word will not return to be void until he has fulfilled that he has sent to be performed. So prayer is an invisible weapon that can break physical bridge between us and our breakthroughs. Until we pray, nothing happens. And the hakashula maha. Until we pray, you see, you you will be you, you see you will be contaminated with prayer today. Prayer virus. You know prayer. You know how people's heart is contaminated. When you when you bring the water and drop a red red uh, paint inside, it contaminates the paint. The, the, the water. That is what prayer will do. Will, will, will do. Today, prayer will contaminate all your body. That if you are sleeping, you are praying. You wake up, you are praying. You are driving car, you are praying. You are cooking, you are praying. You are studying, your head is shaking. Ah! When you hear people say they pray for 21 hours, some of them, they, they are still doing other things in the beginning, they also pray. It's not kneeling down for, for 21 hours, no. What they mean is that their heart is ignited to God. From the one hour they are growing, akala ba 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 ya. They could be engaged on other things. They are praying. Then he learned always to pray. There's a song which you sing as a Christian, then young Christian. Then prayer is the key. Is the master key. Not just the key. Is the master key. He open every doors. Hashakala ba. Nothing happens until we pray. In everything we do, we should put prayer first. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. He said, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer. Did you see that? Not by gossip, not by complaining, not by running around, but by prayer and supplication 
With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. That's why when you start to pray, say, Father, I thank you. You must give God thanks first before you go pray. You don't come to God with complaining. Oh God, you see, these people are started again. They, 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 I don't know what I did to them. Uh, God, you see, uh, this one. You don't come to God with complaining. You come to Him with the hand of thanksgiving. When you begin to thank Him, He cause the hosts of heaven to come and say, What did this, did this one need? Did you hear that? Be careful for nothing. But in everything that pays us obligation, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God. Oh, so prayer bring peace. And the, they say, level you pray on a particular item, you have peace in your, in your mind. You have peace. And the peace of God, who is perfect all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. And begin to say something to them, it's profound. In, in the season, finally, my brother. Finally, in other words, I've told you everything, but look at you must follow my pattern. Finally, my brother, whatsoever things is true, whatsoever things is honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. Report. If there be any virtue, any love, and if there be any, please think on these things. Prayers is the answer to that solution. Once you hear this, once you discover that your prayer life is going down, you need to declare an emergency. It's a case of emergency. Prayer is our life wire. We will pray for art on our behalf on it. We will pray for art on our behalf on it. Follow me to the book of Acts of Apostle. Let me show you what the Apostle said. I can quote it verbatim, but I, can, I want you to just follow me and see it. Acts chapter 6, from verse 4. He said, But we will give ourselves continually to prayers. We will give ourselves continually to prayers. Unto pray, continually. If the enemy have temper with the prayer's life, you need to wake up to pray. If you, your fire, the God, your fire is going down, this, the love of God is going down, you need baptism of prayers to kick up to pray. Never compare uh, oh, that person's prayer with your prayer. Say, well, I, that person is praying only 30 minutes, but I'm praying three hours, I'm better. No. No. Everybody have their own background. Their background may not be your background. Don't allow worries to quench your prayer life. As we begin to round up to pray, let me show you one of the requests that the disciples of Jesus came and with the places. Master, this, this is our request. Did he ask him for money? Did he ask Jesus for clothes? Did he ask Jesus to teach them how to heal the sick now? No. Look at what he said. Luke chapter 11 verse 1 he said and it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place when he sees one of the disciples and maybe the Peter I don't know said unto him Lord teach us to pray teach us to pray as John taught the disciple to pray so prayer is taught not learn the message Jesus says see, when you pray when you pray, say. So for you to learn, for you to uh, to, to, to follow the power for you to say, we're gonna we're gonna pray tonight. Mahashitala. They say just begin to say, Lord Father, I thank you, I thank you. Just begin to uh, thank the Lord, thank him, thank him, Mahashitala. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the weapons of prayers. You see the weapon of our wolf are not coming, but mighty truth go to the pilgrim of strongholds. Father, we we'll thank you. I we'll thank you for preservation of life. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. For you, for you have given me grace to go to stand here to begin to pray. I thank you, Lord, for everything you've done that I know not about. Jata kala masula kosha tabaya. Roto lebro. Thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you, Lord, that I can hear, I can speak, I can talk, I can walk. Thank you, Lord, that I can even go out to pray. 
Amen. Blessed be God. In the name of Jesus. Shattak. Are you ready to pray? We're going to render heaven. See, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, I speak to heaven. Open up for me right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray. You will no longer pray under our close heaven. Oh, ye heaven, open up for me. 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 Shattak.
Jesus Christ. But before we run, we should, we shut down this telecast. Our books are also in Amazon. Some of our titles in Amazon. Please take advantage of them. They have some Google Play books. Take advantage of them and get some. You read us later. I believe God as you begin to read them, your mind begin to open up to some things, some dimension. You see, all of it, we cannot start in minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes. It's too short to actually summarize what, what God has sent us to do. God has sent to give hope to the whole world. So when you read all this book, you're going to see them there. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you in the name of Jesus. But hear this, no matter what matters, know that the same God is still at work in your life. I see you again, I say to you, cha-cha. God bless you.